Director Lena Yadav's first films had some big names attached to them. Amitabh Bachchan, Ashwari Rai, Sanjay Dutt, and Sir Ben Kingsley. But she backtracked and went indie for her latest project. A trip to the inner sanctum of India introduced her to a few characters whose stories she knew deserved telling. Parched about women rising up against tradition just nabbed the Stockholm Impact Award and opens in U.S. theaters June 17th. Tell me about the difficulty in finding the right people to play these very complex characters. Not difficult at all. India, I think, has a lot, lot, lot of amazing, amazing talent. Uh, Tanishtha was there, you know, uh, from the very beginning. And uh, then I met Radhika for Lajo. And I don't think I met anybody else for Lajo after that or mm -hmm. before that. <laughs> uh, then, by which time we had uh, Mukesh Chhabra in to cast the film. He's an amazing, amazing casting director and he has an outstanding team. So we worked with him and his team and uh, found all the beautiful gems in the film who I think each and every performance is very special. <laughs> Tell us about the importance of having somebody like Ajay Devgan behind this film. Um, I think the film started with the uh, with Ajay offering to support this film, and I, I don't think it we would have moved much beyond that if not. And not only supporting the film, I think uh, even the seed money came from him, and that's how we even started off the process. And I think actors should support films like this because we are a big community and we're making different kinds of films and we have to somewhere let each of us coexist by helping, collaborating, you know. And I think that was such a, a generous and beautiful move by Ajay. You know, when I started off, I was asked so many questions of being a woman director, woman director, woman director. I said, oh my God, I'm never going to make films about women because that's what they want me to do. <laughs> right. But I did make part now. <laughs> so I don't know. But it's such an I empowering film. Yeah. And it's it's not um, it's not a stereotypical film no, at all. No, it's not. It's not. So if anything, you're, you're breaking any gender bias. Yes. And I don't want to be called a woman director, otherwise I'm going to start calling all male directors, male directors. Right. Yes, we want to put them also in a box then. I'm not known for naturally commercial in the cinema. I worked with big stars okay. in my first two films, but my films were not very typical uh, subjects for uh, mainstream. But uh, it was an interesting process because when with Shabd, when I went to a PNC with the film, the script, and they said, you know, we should cast really big stars because it's time that we started making these kind of films. And the only way to take these subjects to a larger audience is to have a well-known star cast in them. A lot of people told me I'm going backwards. People start with independent cinema and then they want to work with the stars. Uh, I, start, I, I don't know what is a career route. I'm, I'm just growing the way I'm growing. number <laughs> My hope for the film is that it gets into every theatre it can the world over because this is not just a discussion we need to have in India, I think we need to have it world over. Uh, as far as India is concerned, I really want to be optimistic and I want to release this film the way it is without a single cut. In India, it is a film that's come from India and it should bring that pride right back into India. <laughs> I'm not going to
Parched opened in France to critical acclaim and commercial success. People in New York, LA, and San Francisco will be able to see the film in these theaters starting June 17th.